All right, we are back with the Barcelona career mode. So in this episode, we are entering the January transfer window. We're going to complete the window. We also have a big decision to make, and that is regarding signing a new center back. A lot of you guys want to see Delic signed, but is it time for us to make that kind of signing? That is something we'll decide in this episode. So I'd appreciate it if you guys are still enjoying season two of this Barcelona career mode to drop this video a like. Also, of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not. But big decisions will be made in this episode. Definitely sign Delic. It's the best use of your money. He's the missing piece for a renewed Barcelona with a five-star lineup in defense. Also, I'm for deactivating handballs. Way too unrealistic anyways most of the time. Yeah, like I said, it's a big decision to make. It's a lot of money to spend. It's a very big player to bring in. Honestly, I'm still undecided. I'm not sure what we're going to do. You should get to in season three and in this window get an experienced center back. It's also another decent option. Might be on the more realistic side because uh, most big signings like this are usually made in the summer, not in January. Most of them. And I mean, Araujo is going to be back in like, in like maybe four weeks from now or five weeks whereas if we bought someone uh like like jar from ac milan it'd almost be like a rental he's 33 so he's getting old but he's still 83 rated he could he could do the job this season and the next season probably maybe he sold or come off the bench or something we are going to try to sell pk in this window too so could be his replacement we just got options we got options and the last one sign a mark cucarella for the left middle right mid position now he's a former barcelona player and with our, with this 352 he would be the perfect player for that left mid spot and i mean we're talking about uh Jordi Alba eventual replacements he's right there up with Grimaldo Gaia and uh and Hernandez as well like he would be he would be a really good option so we've been offered for Delict accepted for 125 million now we sold Dembele to Liverpool for 130 million so basically that would cover the cost of the Delict transfer it's just is that something we want to do right now jar would be a very good option he'd only be 18 to 24 million to bring in an experienced center back for basically this season and then once Araujo comes back maybe jar stays in that starting 11 or he moves to the bench and like i said we are going to try to sell pk i think he's not playing i think it just makes more sense to uh try and sell him i am undecided i am very very undecided all right we're gonna go to ac milan see if we can get jar how much they'd want for him about 16.5 they want they want hector herrera i mean that's kind of cheating though i feel like but you know what we would get hector Herrera off the books. This might be the smart thing to, uh, to do if we did sign Jar. So I'll put up 14 plus Herrera. They should accept that. And they do. I don't know, wasting money, but it just makes it more realistic. We're basically paying like like 17 for Jar and then 125 for Delict. Obviously, 23 compared to 33 years old. It's a big difference. I honestly do not know who to sign. I know a lot of you guys want to see Delict. And I know a lot of you guys probably want to see a more realistic signing like Jar. So I have no idea. Maybe he's not more, real more realistic, but it makes sense in January to not sign a player that big is what i mean i kind of feel like if we went the uh the jar route we would eventually sign delict anyways in season three like it's pretty much guaranteed so i feel like jar even though it might be more realistic or it might make more sense we're gonna sign delict anyways we have the money we sold dembele you know what we might as well just sign delict right now we have made our decision i just think we're gonna sign up eventually so why would we wait to do it so Mateus Delic on his way to Barcelona five-year contract. Honestly, I'm kind of sick of the release clause thing, so we're not gonna give him release clause. I know it's unrealistic, but come on. The way release clause and FIFA work, I feel like it's the way they work is unrealistic. He only wants 110k a week. You should uh fire your agent. You should be asking for more than that as an 87 rated center back. What do you say, Delic? What do you say? Do you want to join Eric Garcia and Araujo to form one of the best young defenses in the world? It looks like he does. Delic is signed up araujo garcia and delict that is the three center backs for this entire series pretty much wrapped up all right so wig is gone figueroa is out on loan sans also on loan our our, uh, our youth academy winger Dinkau and colado are both gone but Matthias delict is brought in and then also kiroga from the youth academy he's actually developing pretty well 16 years old 61 rated um we might promote him and try to loan him out he actually looks pretty good there he is what a beautiful man he is gonna take the number three shirt pk we're gonna try to sell him he's i think he's played his last game for barcelona so in this window i'm hoping we can sell him so delict will take the number three shirt man araujo's down to 81 they're just killing his overall that makes me so sad wasn't he like an 83 he was an 83 and he was growing faster than a uh, than garcia now garcia is an 84 look what they did to my boy yeah this man is gonna be uh beautiful signing at center back now i'm honestly debating do we stick with the 352 
with a delict in there or do we revert to the 433 or do we go with something like this or do we go with uh something something like this where kamara would probably go to the bench and then uh delict would come up where we'd play something more like this also pedri's up to an 88 this man is growing so quick 88 pedri at 19 i know he's 20 that's still a high rating though i feel like i am interested in trying this for at least one game in this episode but honestly delict that's a big transfer i think that might be the only transfer we make in this window to be honest because uh yeah that that is an extra large one. So we sit nine points behind Atletico Madrid. They are kind of running away with the title of the season again, which makes me very mad. We have played so good in play games, but these sim games have been killing us. And then the Champions in round of 16 is drawn, and I am not happy about it, but I think we will reveal that later on in the episode. All right, Barcelona, Osasuna, this game's at home. Can we please win this? There's no reason we should lose, especially with Delict now in the back line. There is no reason. There's no reason. Game's at home. And it's a 3-1 win. Demir scores off the off the bench. Pedri scores and Ansu scores again. Beautiful to see. Thank you. I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance in the starting lineup, boss. I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to the team. You didn't even play. All right, so now sell to be go away. I think we will play the away games and try to sim the home games. That might give us the best chance to win in sim games. So we're gonna play sell to Vigo, play. Um, I think that's valid to lid, unless I'm wrong. So uh, yeah, that that is the plan. We are gonna try this formation back with the uh, four three three attack. So first play game of the episode against sell to Vigo. First time using the licked in the starting eleven. Can we get? a win how is iago aspas the top scorer of la liga that's just not right i mean like no disrespect but that's the that's the best goal scorer in the liga i don't think so but uh i think this should be a win hopefully will be a win 352 has been working beautifully but uh we'll see how the 433 attack works in this game a little bit more spread out and once again playing with uh three or actually two center backs i thought ansu was off he actually was not any homo goal number one just like that, I don't even know what I just saw, but that is 1-0 to Barcelona, courtesy of Danny Olmo. We're going to need an instant replay, so Keeper punches it out horribly, and just Danny Olmo, just there, there to clean it up. Okay, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Right on, Sue, you've been great at striker this season. What can you do at left wing? It's a great ball. Pedri, Pedri. Oh my lord, how does that not go in? That's such a good shot. Let's try it again. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Alba. Oh, that was going to be a good ball to Memphis. What is that? Right down the middle. Danny Omo. Ansu is in. He is in. He is in. Why would you go with your left foot? Why would you go with your left foot? That is a right-footed finesse shot 100% of the time. Oh, what a ball. I can't defend that. That ball was ridiculous. All right, there is the licked. The new man to lead the back line with uh, Garcia and Araujo. Ansu, Ansu, you have the pace. Okay, this time, can we finish this, please? This time... Can we finish this, please? Yes, we can. 2-0 up on Celta Vigo. See, we're playing good and played games. Just the sim form is, is killing us. It's another goal for Ansu. If we stick with the 4-3-3, three, three, what do we do when Araujo gets back? I mean, Araujo is an 81 now, so obviously he would be the first off the bench. And then Kamara would probably be made into uh, to a center back again. Oh, how, Torres, why are you offside? That was going to be beautiful. All right, Danny Omo. Just waiting for some support. Torres, that is going to be a terrible ball. Does win it, though. Does win it. Pedri. Oh, what a shot that was. All right. First test for Delict. First test. First test. Will you pass it? I mean, I, I mean, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best, though. I feel like they're going to score. That's a weird block. Delict. Delict. I press clear. There's no shot. There is no shot that that just happened. I press clear, and he did not clear the ball. We're going to instant replay. I thought it showed if you pressed, if like if you loaded up something in the in the in the instant replay. I guess not. I you can see it. You can see the bar loading up before that. But of course, Aspas scores. Like I press clear and delict. I'm not gonna blame him. That's the game's fault. I am not gonna blame him. Nor do I take the blame for that. All right, we just need to score a few more now. This cannot be like Real Betis where we. It's just a stupid mistake. Let's the other team back in the game. This cannot be like that. Oh, you just feel it. You feel them coming back in this game. Just they, they get one little goal and they they come right back into this. That is so, so annoying. Corner sent in. Pedri. I don't know why he's at the near post. It'll be someone just a little bit taller. Oh, I don't like this. They're playing so much better. Thankfully, someone was offside. That's a good ball to Memphis. Memphis into Danny Omo. Man, low crosses in this game. I can never get a powerful low cross in like ever. Torres up to Memphis. Torres is making a decent run. Just can't get the ball to him. This just feels like one of those games. Just one of those games. We were legit dominating. And then that one goal they scored. Okay, Torres. 
Torres, I need you to run. You got pace. You have pace. Who is this? Is he really that? Is he really that quick? How did we not? How does Torres not beat him on pace? All right, Gabby's coming on at Cam, and then Demid is coming on for uh, for Torres on the right. All right, can we just seal this? Can we just stop messing around and seal this? Okay, Torres. This time we're not, okay. Maybe he is that quick. Okay, no, he's not. No, he's not. Memphis. Memphis keeper is going to save the ball. All right, subs are on. I'm feeling a. I'm feeling a long shot here. We're gonna call for a short corner. On who's gonna come up? Gonna give the ball to him. Swing it back. Swing it back. It is Pedri. That almost works again for a very fortunate goal, but the keeper is gonna save that one too. Memphis. That is Gavi into Demir. Demir with a lot of room. Ansu, Ansu, far post. Ansu is gonna put that in. That is all three points settled. This felt like one of those games could have lost easily or dropped points in, but that pretty much confirms the three points. Also, it doesn't seem like Ansu scoring uh, is is depending on his position. He's scoring from everywhere right now. And we get one more to just rub salt into the wounds. Give that to Jordi Alba. Memphis into Gavi. He's going to go for the shot. Oh, it was a decent shot. It's going to be right at the keeper's feet, though. Oh, but that is a great ball to Gavi. He's demid onside. It doesn't even matter. I think he was offside. But, I mean, 3-1 win. Pretty, pretty decent performance. Other, other than that goal or the center back mistake. But that's not Delic's fault. That is not my fault either. Um, Danny Omo. No, Ansu. Ansu, man of the match, 9.9. .9. All right, Manchester United are offering Mason Greenwood in a swap deal with Danny Omo. Now, that would be very interesting, but obviously, we're not going to give up Danny Omo. Um, Juventus want pk you know what i'm accepting that that's a really good offer for him because they just lost they just lost to lick and i feel like the italian game might uh suit pk actually so we basically had a swap deal between uh between pk and delict i guess not he just denied it pk your time is up leave all right okay i keep i keep getting this message from demir look boss i'm not injured am i this dude this dude's having a mental crisis but araujo's back so that is very good, even though he's probably not ready to play. That is going to complicate things at center back. All right, Espanol, they are in 19th place. So, Ricky Puj, Balde, and Demir come in to start. At home, please, please be a win. Please be a win. Please, that's a 3-0 win. That is what we like to see. Memphis scoring twice and Daniel getting the third. I like to see that. Okay, apparently Demir has submitted a transfer request. And I can't negotiate a contract. You recently negotiated a contract with this player. Did I? I think I did to take his release clause off. But if you look at the bottom, it says contract. He's happy about it. Only thing he's mad about is player performance. He's playing games though. Like obviously he's not a starter. But uh, like what is his role we gave him? We gave him a sporadic team player. Why is he Why is he submitting a transfer request? You know, remember the player who submitted a transfer request. Um, Is Demir on the way out? Because that would be unfortunate. But like what i'm playing him and no man city you're not having deaths now club bruges okay pk you better accept this you're now you're going to the belgium league you could have went to juventus now you, now, you might, now you might be going to club bruges you don't want that so seven point lead now for let it go madrid it's gone down a little bit we needed to go down further we need to keep winning as well also i kind of want to keep demid so i'm going to try to play him as much as possible so uh yeah there's that too um araujo i think he, i'm gonna wait to play him still i think the only change for this game we will play uh vlahovic at striker and that will be the only change as we take on Valladolid. All right, still sticking with the 4-3-3 for now. I'm, I'm unsure whether we should go to the 3-5-2 or this one permanently, but for now, we are sticking with the 4-3-3. Uh, the Ansu, Vlavic, Pedri scored almost. Pedri has hit the post two times, same exact spot, back-to-back -back games. Can you get more unlucky than that? I just, I feel for him. Delict, I felt that. Delict, first goal for Barcelona, and that is the goal. Are you are you joking? A center back just hit that. That is like a that's a powerful strike too. Delict announces himself as a new Barcelona player. Oh, that angle. Oh, that is that is beautiful. That is a beautiful goal. Possibly a goal of the season contender, maybe from a from a center back like you just can't be serious the way that one was hit like that one had so much power on it oh Vlahovic just dan dancing around them oh my the passing is insane somehow they didn't score that Vlahovic is a pretty good ball man they're playing really deep like it feels like the only thing we really get is right now is a uh, long shot see if we can get another long shot another one this time the Ong 
Low different shot, but right into the keepers, uh, right into his mid region. Iniomo almost would have been a good ball. Omo almost. I didn't even plan that, but that Iniomo almost played a good ball. All right, this might be a decent break, Ansu. You better. You have all the pace. You have all the pace. All the pace. All the pace. I guess not. I, I really guess not. Oh, that's a good ball through Garcia. Oh, Ter Stegen. That is just a world-class save. Garcia did a little bit to uh to try and muscle him off the ball to mess up that shot at least. Stegen's gonna catch that. Okay, we could break. We can break. Vlahovic, you are on side. All right. You're not on side. Daniomo, Vlahovic. Vlahovic, you're not really making a run. You are a big target, though. That's gonna go to someone else instead. That was to Demir. Dest. Oh, I want to hit that ref. Don't blow the whistle there. Yeah, still, Delix does. Delix Screamer. The only goal in this game so far. Can we get this second? They're, they're playing really well defensively. Like, they're not an easy team to currently try and break down. But we will persevere. Pedri, that's the shot's going to be blocked. De Jong. Oh, that's a wind up. But that one's going to be off target. It's going to be a free kick. Free kick. Now, who is taking this? I, I guess Danny Omo is the best free kick taker. I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good. I am feeling good about this one. Maybe not. I got to say, Jordi Alba has been so good this season. For a player that might that looked like he was on his last legs. Oh, Demir. We need to steal that. He has been so good. All right, that is to Demir. Ansu was making a decent run and go to Alba instead. Not mad about it. Not mad about it, Vlahovic. Vlahovic, oh, just needed like an inch more room there to shoot. It's a good ball. That's a good shot. That's one that probably usually goes in, but Ter Stegen makes the save. All right, we're going to do... We're going to do Nico for De Jong and then Kamara. We'll switch them to. So Nico and Kamara will come on, and then I think we'll do Torres for, for Ansu and then switch him with uh, Demid. Corner sent in, and oh, Nico. I like to see that when he come on the field. That is beautiful. All right, Kamara wins that. Can we get this forward now? Torres, you have fresh legs. You just drink a gallon of Gatorade before coming on. That's not the ball I wanted. I wanted to go to Vlahovic. Kamara, Vlahovic. And he's going a little bit of a run just like that. Up to him. He's not going to exactly reach that, though. Get that to Nico. Give it to Nico. Nico. Nico to Kamara. What a shot. What a save. That is sent in. Oh, that was a good... We could actually almost score from a corner. That was our best chance all year. Let's try the same exact thing. Oh, it looks pretty good again. Looked pretty good. Demir, give that to Kamara. Swing it to, to Dest. Torres, 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 Torres. That is Danny Omo. I, don't, I meant to pass it to Demir, but Danny Omo, he's having quite a good part of the season. We're going a little bit too crazy to be winning against uh, Bailey Dulade. Can we, can we tone it down a little bit? I meant for this to go to Demir, or no, Vlahovic. That's not Demir, but... Found Danny Omo's big foot, and he put it in. Seven goals in 18 games. That's really not bad for Danny Omo. Once again, I feel like this is a game last season where we would have dropped points. But uh, this season, we are a we are a we are a different team. Oh, Jordi Jordi Alba has been so good. He has impressed me so much this season. Not that kind of passing though. That is 125 million worth of block and that is three points two nil not the uh, not the most prolific performance but still a good game and also that delict goal was something beautiful we're gonna watch it again it is just i want to see it again first goal for barcelona and it is that kind of strike that is just beautiful all right pk did not want to go to club rouge but uh now newcastle want him the new billionaire owners can you can you give pk the money he wants to leave please all right Mallorca, copa del Rey, round of 32 i am feeling confident enough that this will be a win and that is a 3-0 win blavich scores off the bench demir scores off the bench and danny omo demir you are playing can you be happy for once please and pk has decided not to go to newcastle pk pk your your time is up all right alaves round of 16 i think we will play this one because uh, last season we got knocked out very very early on i don't want that to happen again but we are gonna field like i said a rotated team also it's kind of a good game to get araujo back in the Back in starting 11. So we're going with Ansu, Depay, Demir, Gavi, Ricky Puj, Gonzalez, Balde, Kamara, Araujo, and Mingueza, and also Tenyas in goal. This is a cup that I want to win this season. Did not even get close to winning it last season. Also, Depay is captain in this lineup because I feel like he's the oldest and it makes the most sense. So he is captaining us against Alaves in the round of 16, Copa del Rey. All right, got a, got a young midfield with uh, Nico, Ricky Puj, and uh, Gavi. 
this should be a win. I am expecting a win. Still got Memphis and Ansu in there to uh, deliver the goals. Still have that. Oh, 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 what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, look at the, look at the defending in this game. He just tracked every single move I just made. All right, swing that to Nico. That is almost a beautiful goal. Araujo is back. Can he announce himself with a goal from a corner? Not exactly. Ricky Pooch. Oh, that was a good. That's another good hit. Corner. Araujo tried something. That is into Kamara, and this keeper is making three back-to-back -back amazing saves. I'm about to lose it. Corner. Araujo. That's going to be going to be a goal kick on Sue to Memphis. Just the, the most lethal combo in La Liga this year. That is a decent ball, but uh, about they did just enough there. And I feel bad for Araujo. He was like the starting center back. He got injured. His rating has gone down. And now uh, now his fellow center back teammates have outgrown him. So it's going to take some time to uh, for him to get back up to speed. He was our best center back. That's the that's the crazy thing. That is what happens when you're out for uh, five months, though. That's a good ball to Gavi, and is that shot deflected? It looked like it was deflected. All right, on Sue, play that up to Memphis or Demir. Who was that even to? This has been a been a very very sl just sloppy game so far. All right, this is a chance for a break. They just handed us this this ball. Memphis not exactly gonna clean everyone up. Gonna go to Demir up to Gavi. Oh, it's not gonna work. I thought that would work, but obviously it did not. Memphis, Memphis. Give that to Nico. That was a good looking shot. It's going to be blocked though. Gavi, we are just going to send that in. Oh, Nico is there for that. We had that to someone. That is going to be. Then the ref blows the whistle. All right, Balde. Balde is having a pretty good game though. Okay, Ansu, go on that run. Pull the defender out. Memphis. I don't know why I tried that. I thought Memphis would be away, but was not. We're kind of struggling in this game, to be honest. We are kind of struggling. Oh, my, my midfield just feels very out of sorts and how did that ball get through like how how does this ball get through all these players like this uh, Araujo is just standing there he's literally just standing there all right 56 the minute we are down one nil to Alaves Gavi into Memphis and we can't get a shot honestly Gavi has not had a great game he's only 72 and it definitely whenever he plays it uh, definitely feels like it that's gonna be was gonna be a decent ball to Ansu. He's much better in real life. They should have gave him a higher rating. He started like at a 66. He's already starting so low. Oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Araujo made a decent decent block there. All right, Torres for Demir, and then we're gonna do Danny Olmo for uh for Gavi, and we'll just do uh we'll just do De Jong for Nico because we need to salvage something here, and uh, we only have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. To score two goals i hate my life all right we will not stand for this i will not stand for this danny omo danny omo oh how are all this beating us it's how honestly the young players have kind of stinked the bed in this game danny omo is not going to finish that either i guess i shouldn't have put that many young players in the lineup i guess that is pretty much what should have happened that's going to be a handball on us that is our luck we have 10 minutes to score two goals it's doable but uh, it just doesn't look very likely. Torres into Memphis. Oh, just not the not the pass. Not the pass. I don't know what that is. Memphis. Memphis. Oh, what a goal. Okay, seven minutes. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Seven minutes. I don't know what they're doing at the back. They just gave it to us. Look at this pass or that touch. I don't know what they're doing. All right, seven minutes. Seven minutes. We need one goal. All right, come on. If we ever needed to execute, it is, it is right now. Memphis. Two on two, two on two. Give that to Torres. Onside, onside. Thank you, Lord. We brought on the first team players and they scored two in like 20 minutes. I had a very, very small suspicion that was offside. Thankfully it was not. All right, got a minute. Maybe, is it a replay in Copa? No, we go into extra time, right? I don't think it's a replay in the Copa del Rey, even though I could be wrong. We'll, we'll see if it gets to that. If it gets to that. Memphis, Danny Olmo, up to Memphis, 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 stay with it, oh, what was that, what was that, oh, I'm going to cry, yeah, yeah, extra time it is, all right, we're, we are done messing around, we are done messing around, extra time, we are going to win this, gotta work this around, Torres, stay on side, please, that isn't Ansu, nope, that is Memphis, oh, Memphis the pie, what a finish, 
Like, what a finish. That is top right hand bin. Can we tone it down, though? We need to tone down these celebrations. They're a little bit over the top. Tone it down. This is... This is Alaves in the Copa del Rey. Oh, it didn't even show us the replay on that goal. All right, 97th minute. First team players have taken over. Can we just win this now? Can we win this now? Oh, yeah. The adults are on the field now. Alaves, you stand. Zero chance. The adults are on now. The adults are on the field. The adults are on the field. And Ansu is an adult. Keeper is going to save that. Corner sent in. Why is the keeper not coming out for that? That's the one they usually uh they usually come forward for that, but that time they did not. Memphis. Memphis. That actually works. It works. Yeah, I don't know what Ansu is doing. Oh, he's offside. The cohesion is, is horrendous. Young. This seems like a chance to chance to fail. I like it. I like it. Torres. Torres to Ansu. Torres to Ansu far post. And that's not going to work. Just head into the mix. Head into the mix. Ricky Pooj almost could have got a shot there. That should be it, though. That should be it. And that is it. We survive against Alaves. Scored two in the last 10 minutes. Force extra time. And then Memphis Depay with a beautiful goal to win it in extra time it should not have been that difficult but on the box score it's going to show a big w on there and that is what matters all right transfer to lende pretty much uh delict doesn't even show delict on here but delict was such a big signing i think that is going to be the only signing in this window plus he's up to an 88 man that is uh that's a tasty looking center back pairing right there but yeah he was a huge signing i think that will be the only signing we make in this window this team is looking nice this team is looking nice right now can we sell pk though can, like, can we sell him? PK, can you leave, please? Also, Ruiz, a player we're trying to sell, uh, Valido Lid. Pay the release clause, he can leave. Not really, uh, not really part of the plans. Also, John Stones to Atletico Madrid. Does John Stones know how to speak Spanish? Doesn't look like he, he knows how to speak Spanish. And Ruiz has been sold, so it's another player that just has not got any playing time, no part in the future plans. And it looks like PK will be stuck here. It's very, very annoying. Leon, okay, Leon, PK, please. PK. Please, please. Unless he just wants to stay and retire here, even though he's not playing. PK, please. Okay, time's gonna run out. It's not gonna even be in time. PK is going to be stuck in eternal pain at Barcelona for the rest of time. And transfer talks have broken down. Not, not a surprise. Araujo, I'm feeling fit. Definitely ready to play. Hope you're not planning to put someone else in. Buddy, you've been out for five months with a broken tailbone. You need time to get up to speed. But we play Real Madrid in the, in the Copa del Rey next episode. So that is how next episode is going to start. So in La Liga, we are sitting second. Still seven points behind Atletico Madrid. Seven points. The gap has been, it's, it's been, it's been lowered, but it's still a decent lead and they don't look like they're slowing down. Most goals scored and best defense too. They look like they look so good in the save. Also Real Madrid, they were down in 10th. Uh, they've got all the way back up to third. Also, I didn't realize Alaves is in fourth. I was not giving them the respect they deserve. All right, Champions League round of 16. So we finished uh, first in our group and there were a lot of decent teams who also finished second that we could have got. Like the easiest team would probably be uh, Brisbane, Morch, and Gladback out of all these teams or no, we can't play Porto. I don't, I don't think so though. So round of 16, it has been drawn. I'm not happy. I'm not happy because we have Borussia Dortmund in the round of 16. We had Manchester United last year and now we have Dortmund. Like that is two very unfavorable draws. I would have rather had Leipzig, Milan, Brisbane, Morch, and Gladback. I would have had like three or four other teams but we have Dortmund. So that will be in the next episode. So we'll play the Copa del Rey against Real Madrid, probably Sim Batiste, Sim Valencia, and then play Dortmund first leg away from home. Now I'm guessing they still have Holland. Yeah, Malin, Holland, Saul. They have Jude Bellingham, Witzel, Allen, Julian Brandt still, or Julian Brandt. Um, Nico Williams from Liverpool, that's a weird one. And then at center back, Gabriel, Titi, Zagadou, Tapsoba. It's a decent team. It's a really decent team. A little bit unfortunate, but Champions League, you got to beat the best to win the trophy. So that will be in the next episode. When do we face Atletico Madrid? That is in April. And then we face Real Madrid all the way in May. So we're in the crunch part of the season. We just signed Delict. I'm not sure what to do about this uh, center back pairing because honestly, Kamara is more of a CDM, but he is higher rated than Araujo now. He's just, Araujo has gone down so much. I don't know what to do. Like he's minus one. He's going to go up to an 82 in about two months, but that'll probably be a lot shorter if his form gets better. So he'll, he'll be on his way back to full fitness, but I'm not, I'm just not sure what to do. I think Nico would drop down to the reserves. Araujo would come up to be the backup center back. Kamara would be the backup uh, midfielder instead of a center back for now. And then if we did the 3-5-2, we could put, uh, we could play this or, or we could play something like this where uh, Araujo comes in for Kamara, Kamara comes in for Olmo, and then Pedri goes to Cam, Kamara goes to CDM. Also could do something like that with this formation. 
I think Dortmund play with the three at the back, so it might make sense to uh, match that against them. We will see. Let me know what you guys think about the center back situation with the Rahul right back. What should we do with this? But uh, that is it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you dropping a like on the video as always. You guys have still been killing it. Almost every episode is still hitting almost a thousand likes, which that is that is insane. Also, of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not. We are chasing 30,000 then 50,000, then the big 100,000. That is the main goal. 100,000 subscribers. We will get there eventually. But I just, once again, I appreciate the support on this series just so much. And uh, next episode, Realm Dortmund, that's going to be, that is going to be a fun one. But I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.